Bill O'Reilly here, Friday, December 16th, 2022. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening this week in America. Republicans target big tech for, quote, misinformation. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's climate change movie bombs. Nearly half of young adults suffer from a mental disorder. New report ranks the fastest growing cities in America. Also ahead, the message of the day update. Listeners sound off, but first, House Republicans demanding information and records from big tech companies for allegedly colluding with the Biden campaign during the 2020 election. Representative Jim Jordan, the next chair of the Judiciary Committee, unveiling probes into Google, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, and Amazon. Data released by Elon Musk shows the companies routinely met with the FBI and Department of Justice to discuss suppressing information that might damage Joe Biden. A climate change documentary from Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez tanking during its opening weekend. The project called To the End was filmed over the last four years, despite Debuting on 120 movie screens across the country, the documentary earned less than $10,000. That's almost impossible. That's $80 per theater. By comparison, Al Gore's 2006 global warming documentary made $24 million and won an Academy Award. A survey from Harmony Healthcare finds nearly half of young Americans suffer from a mental disorder. 42% of people under the age of 25 have been clinically diagnosed with depression, insomnia, anorexia, hyperactivity, or attention deficit disorder. A third attend therapy sessions once a month. One in 10 members of Gen Z take anti-anxiety medication. CNBC listing the fastest growing cities in the USA. Here they are. Salt Lake City, Denver, Dallas, Charlotte, North Carolina. Number one fastest growing town, Austin, Texas. In 1990, just 200,000 people lived in Austin. Now, more than a million. The city's losing the most residents, New York and San Francisco. In a moment, update listeners have their say. Right back. By now, you may have received a record high heating bill. Prices of heating your home will only go up from here. If you are looking for ways to save money this winter, now you can with the Eden Pure Gen 40 heater. Now, I've got my Gen 40 and I move it around the house and it's made a big difference keeping my rooms warm. This infrared heater guaranteed to start saving you money on your heating bill as soon as you turn it on. Plus, Gen 40 heater owners are reporting massive savings on heating bills, and it is super safe around pets and kids with their multiple safety features. It is no surprise that they are having a hard time keeping the Gen 40 in stock. So don't wait. Right now, you can get $50 off the sale price. Use discount code BILL50. Please go to EdenPureDeals.com. Put in discount code BILL50 to get your 50 bucks off. That's EdenPureDeals.com. Discount code BILL50 for the discount. Shipping is free. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. Listeners, sound off. If you would like to participate, we do this each Friday. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Bill at BillOReilly.com. That's where we live, by the way. It's where the TV shows are, it's where the column, the message of the day, on and on and on, BillOReilly.com. And you have to include your name in town if you wish to opine, so I know you're a real person. Let's go to Peter in Wichita, Kansas. Legal question, O'Reilly. Can President Biden's respect marriage law be used to force acceptance of other kinds of non-traditional marriages like polygamy? No. The Respect Marriage Act specifically states it's same-sex marriage or interracial marriage. Okay? So that's what passed Congress. 
That's what Biden signed into law, and you can't extend from that legally. Eric Des Moines, uh, Iowa. Is it possible that Putin offered either Paul Whelan or Brittany Griner for the Russian arms merchant to the Biden administration who decided that by choosing Griner, the president would gain more political advantage with his leftist woke base? Now, I've gone over this, Eric, about 10 times, and I'm going to do it one more time for you because I like you. I have talked to many people in the federal government and the State Department. There was no way Putin was going to give up Paul Whelan, the ex-Marine from Michigan, who was serving a four-year sentence in a Russian prison. He wasn't on the table. It wasn't even considered. So I know people believe what they want to believe. But the truth is, it was Brittany Griner for the Russian arms dealer or nothing. That is the truth. Jack Portsmouth, New Hampshire, nice town. It's impossible for conservatives to break through the liberal media stranglehold, plus Hollywood and academia. No use even trying anymore as such hopes and fantasies are futile. You are correct, Jack, that particularly the entertainment industry and the corrupt corporate news people are never going to give conservative traditional Americans a fair cut, ever. Not gonna happen. Nor will Hollywood, nor will most teachers in American colleges, however, Conservatives have talk radio, and that's a big force. They have the Fox News Channel, which has gone more conservative since I left. And they have many, many sites on the internet, so it is not a blackout. Brian, Boston, Massachusetts. I somewhat believe the poll that says most Americans do not want Joe Biden or Donald Trump to run in 24. I voted for Trump twice. I would never vote for him again. That is the prevailing wisdom right now, Brian. Donald Trump has lost some power, but the polls now don't mean a thing. A year from now, they will. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by putting it together. If you'd like more honest news analysis, please go to BillOReilly.com, and I hope you consider my new book, Killing the Legends, for a Christmas gift. In a moment, something you might not know. Ad paid for by the Sentinel Group. Attention Marines, military personnel, families, and contractors who were stationed at Camp Lejeune. Were you present at Camp Lejeune between August 1953 and December of 1987? You may be entitled to significant compensation. For nearly 34 years, those in the Marine Corps' base Camp Lejeune were exposed to contaminated drinking water, resulting in devastating injuries including several forms of cancer, adverse birth outcomes, Parkinson's disease, and more. North Carolina's procedural laws have prevented victims from getting the justice they deserve, but passage of the Camp Lejeune Justice Act of 2022 would allow you or a loved one to file lawsuits seeking compensation for illnesses and injuries linked to the toxic water. Call today for your free consultation, 800-484-3231. Let our experienced attorneys fight to get you the compensation you deserve and you pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call 800-484-3231. That's 800-484-3231. Again, 800-484-3231. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Earlier this week, a bipartisan group of lawmakers introduced new legislation to ban one of the most popular iPhone apps in the country. The platform is used by more than 1 billion people worldwide. It is also run by the Chinese Communist Party. Here is the story of TikTok. Launched in September 2016, the network is used to share videos shorter than 15 seconds. It is the most downloaded app for people under the age of 14. The company behind the software is a Beijing startup called ByteDance. According to Chinese law, the business is legally required to provide the Communist Party with personal data from all TikTok users, including Americans. 
The platform has 80 million subscribers in the USA alone. That means officials in Beijing have access to the personal data of all of those people, including bank accounts, credit cards, web browser histories, personal messages, emails, and phone calls. Several countries, including India and Bangladesh, have already banned TikTok. Texas Governor Abbott has forbidden the app from being installed on the phone lines of state employees. During the 2020 presidential election, the Biden campaign ordered the removal of TikTok from all devices. Florida Senator Marco Rubio now moving to eliminate the platform entirely in the USA. Said the Republican, quote, the federal government has yet to take a single meaningful action to protect American users from the threat of TikTok. There is no more time to waste on meaningless negotiations with a CCP, that's Beijing Communist, company. It is time to ban Beijing-controlled TikTok for good, unquote, from Rubio. And here's something else you might not know. If banned, TikTok will not be the first app prohibited by the feds. Washington currently operates a black list of 500 separate software agencies, including applications with ties to Russia, Syria, Al-Qaeda, neo-Nazis, KKK, and eco-terrorists. Back after this. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-925-7584 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-925-7584. That's 800-925-7584. What do you have to lose? Call 800-925-7584. Again, 800-925-7584. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.